Hey guys, it's Ricky from RT Videos, and today I'm going to show you a very clever trick that I use to make my air beacon, the Lionel Postworth 394 air beacon, move on its own. For those of you that are unfamiliar about Lionel's Postwar rotating beacon products, is there are two of them. There was the 394, and then there was the 494. The 494 beacon works similar to the Searchlight flat car, which I have over there which has a rotating motor on it, a vibrating motor, which rotates the thing going round and round. The 394 does not have that like the 494. So the 494 works, basically, you have a small needle that is in the beacon part, and that goes on top of a special light bulb that was manufactured by Lionel. And then it will just sit there, it, could go, it wobbles a little bit, and just the when you turn the light on it will shine green and red light throughout your layout so I want it to be rotating so what I did was I took a fan that came from a remote control helicopter that crashed into a tree so I figured I might need it someday and I did so what I did was I hooked up the fan behind my engine shed and then I connected it to the circuit board that was on the thing on the helicopter and then I have that going to an auxiliary transformer. And then when I turn the power on, the fan blows wind up onto the beacon, therefore spinning it round and round. I have now showed you how it works. So now I'm, I'm going to show you how it looks when it works. So when I turn on the power to the transformer, the light is on and it starts to move. It looks really cool when I turn off the lights and all around the layout. I tried to hide the fan so you can't see it, so putting it next to the engine shed was a really good idea. Now you may think, wow, that fan is very loud. Yes, it is loud and there's nothing I could do about that. So, when I turn on my trains, you can't even hear it, which I really like. So that's how I did the beacon. I put a fan behind it, which then blows up the wind that turns the beacon. And then the circuit board goes down to the transformer. And then I soldered the wires from the motor to the circuit board, which then blows up the wind. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to the channel.